So I've never dog. Oh, mate. <laughs> well, are we good? <laughs> what have you got there? Nothing for you. Oh, <laughs> chips with onions on? Is that cheese and onion on chips? Yeah. The barbecue sauce? Yeah, garlic. Okay, change it. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 I'm not sure How was it? Meh. Did you feel it? Nah. I feel like it took you a while to get going. Yeah. I couldn't get. I, 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 I felt like I got into the cigarette and I, that they didn't. All the energy went in the second story. Yeah. But I think uh, that fucking. Just that hand dryer. And there was like a knocking at the side. It was like boom, boom, boom. And I think it just got. And I shouldn't have addressed it. Yeah. I fucked up by addressing it. Because once I addressed it, every time it happened, it sucked the, it sucked all the attention towards it. Whether yeah. I should have just talked over it, but it is a fucking. What is it because the toilets are next to the ne literally yeah, so next it's to the fucking so stage? Yeah, so loud. And, then, Fuck and I was like, know. but I mean, I don't know whether it, it just it became apparent to me like 40 minutes in, so it must have been happening all the way through. But once it was in my head, I was like, that's, that's, that's yeah, yeah. People <laughs> washing their hands. I know. Disgusting. Inconsiderate. Paper towels. Man. <laughs> I was just saying to Rudy, do you know what I don't think gets the recognition it deserves ever <laughs> is when you're like, close your eyes, you're going to work now. Yeah. No one ever fucking done work! I don't understand why that doesn't work. I never understand why it doesn't work. You just said it, but it's, uh, it's so funny. It's a great callback. Yeah. I don't understand why it doesn't work. Well, I don't get it either. I, I know, that's why I keep leaving the ring on. I must be doing something no, slightly wrong here. No, it's really good. It's a good bit. I know. Next time I'm out there, I'll just go. <laughs> <laughs> just like you said, like you said earlier, do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting one, wasn't it? That was very interesting. So, I honestly thought, like, so I've started off. There's a guy in the front row who knew was going to be funny. He looked like he looks a little bit fucking, like, what's the word for it? Like, kooky. A little bit kooky, a little bit fucking, like, eccentric. <laughs> that's the word for it. So I thought, I'm gonna, I'll save him for a minute and just ease my way in with a, with a normal couple, as I said, on stage. Start talking to this couple, and it was normal stuff, she looked like a bit fuming, he worked on the motorway, it was just, it was standard stuff, it was fine. Yeah. And then I asked how long we've been together, said 16 years, and then I asked how old the kids were, he, and she said 17, and that's obvious, so I'm like, all I have to do there is make a face, because everyone, everyone can do the maths. Yeah. Wait for the put, the laugh to die down and go, that, it's an easy joke to go. One of them kids isn't yours. Big laugh. Everyone's happy, and I thought that'd be the end of it. How long have you two been together? Sixteen years. Sixteen years, Sam. Yeah. Four kids. <laughs> Four kids. <laughs> have you been revising again? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's ready. He's going to ask me how many kids I've got. Then he's going to ask me what my hobbies are. Point might ask me what I have for me tea. I had burger and chips. What toppings? Cheese. <laughs> Fuck you. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. Uh, where's the kiddies tonight then? At home. Yeah. yeah, how old are they? Uh, 17, 14. <laughs> I'm no mathematician, Adrian. <laughs> at least one of them kids isn't yours. <laughs> oh, one of their lanes was open when it shouldn't have been. <laughs> <laughs> but then he goes, you'll have to cut that out. And I'm like, not why? Anyway, because he doesn't know yet. And I'm like, 
I think he's messing around. But then it just became apparent to me that he's not messing around. Yeah. I'm thinking, why the fuck have you just told me that? How have you kept that from a kid for fucking 16 years? Every day. And I ask you once. And you just tell me. Like yeah. it's the most fucking dark secret your family's got. <laughs> and now everyone in the room's going, oh, and he, I want you to put that out. I want you to put that out. And I kind of want to put it out. <laughs> And then he starts playing along then. I don't know why, because I feel like he can feel the room. And I can see him going, what are you doing? Because yeah, I yeah. feel like he can feel mob mentality, wanting to get involved. And he's like, do you want to ring him and tell him? And I was like, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to ring him and tell him? Is that what he said? Yeah. I couldn't make out what he said. He said do you want to ring him and tell him? Tell him, you're not going to tell him, you're never going to tell him. Fuck okay, it, why not tell him? I'll ring him, tell him. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I kind of do, but I don't, because I can't follow that. That's the end of the show, isn't it? We're five minutes in, and it's just going to be like, fuck, and you know what? I don't even think anyone would go away disappointed. If I was on FaceTime to some kid, and he's just crying, going, what do you mean? And I was like, I've got a DNA test, mate. He's not even your dad. He's a bit of a nubbin anyway. I mean, I'd just be like, the show was five minutes, but it was fucking mad. <laughs> it's fucking mad. Absolutely mad. And then it's just like... It carried, so I was like, it carried on being funny after that. So I, 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 I called back a little bit later on when I, I, so the next couple I asked how old the kid was, I made another easy joke. Like when they said, like, they've been together two years, I said I was the kid five. Yeah. Because I'd been asking the fella how big his dick was. And Charlie was funny as well. Like when I first started to talk to him, I knew he was going to be a bit mad. And he obviously he started playing the role of he's a gigolo and that. Because he's, like, he's obviously quite a flamboyant big guy. <laughs> what do you do, Charlie? Did I ask? You're a gigolo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Charlie. What's a gigolo? Is that like a male prostitute? But a good one. Sort of. But you don't get paid. You get paid to be a gigolo? You do it for fun. That's not a job then, Charlie. It is. <laughs> it is when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at me like I'm prey, Charlie, and I kind of want it, and I don't know why. <laughs> Shit, Charlie. <laughs> but he was fun, so I'm like playing a job, like I watch a blowjob and that. And then I was like, you came for a blowjob, and the guy's like, if he takes his teeth out, and he fucking just pops his teeth out. <laughs> right, I'm going to bring this act on. Right, the green room's that way, Charlie. <laughs> a little gobble off, Charlie, in the break, innit? Gotta come. Wanna come? Yeah, yeah man. No. <laughs> he his teeth out. If he takes his teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> Your head would have fell off of me to just gone bah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You took the mouth! <laughs> nah, mate, I'm getting off. I'm done here. I'm done. That's it. That's it. Gotta get a blowy off now. <laughs> Them the rules. Yeah. Okay, front that. Yeah, that was a good end. The There's a nice, um, they're probably like dead controllable, I feel. Like yeah. It's like, it's, a, it's an easy room to control. Yeah. It's, it feels like, feels like the comedy club, it feels quite like, yeah. It's surprisingly like. small. I thought it was going to be a bigger venue. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, this is the only place, it must, I think this is the only place in Leicester that we could have done. Really? Yeah, because we had, the last one we had, as I said, the last one we had closed down. Yeah, that was great, that though. I don't, and I still don't know whether to put that clip out or not. I mean, we could put it on just dub his name. Because so, it's like, show over if this kid starts crying because he's just found out his dad knows real bad. That's cancellation shit, that, isn't it? Well, and it's not even my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we think of Lester and Gang? It was, it was a proper nice gig. It was a lovely room. Yeah. Really, like, easily, easy to control. And I think that yeah, it was probably yeah, it was a it was a nice show. I just felt like yeah, I just had to fuck a couple of bits up and I was like, Look at your arm from where you lean on the <laughs> I say that to him all the time. It's like a fucking like a rash in it. Yeah. Like microphone rash. Microphone rash. Uh, it's a terrible case of the microphone done rash. <laughs> so, Leicester done. Off to Newcastle where they will definitely be more on drug on board with the drug stuff. Thank you all for watching. Thank you everyone who came to Leicester.
I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm sure you did. Uh, and I hope you all enjoyed the little crowd work bits, because I did. Until the next one, come and join us in Newcastle. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and give it a little share of us. Anything you want to say, Sir Bill? Anything you want to add? Woof. <laughs>